Well, hi there. 2022 is winding down, 23 is on the horizon. Thought we'd take a look at our photographs over the year and see how they stack up. This is one of my favorites from 22. Got the Galaxy behind a lighthouse with the Olympus OM-1 with the 7 to 14 millimeter lens. We wanted to make this a video about my best photographs over the last year, but as it turns out remarkably enough, it's sort of a comparison between the Olympus OM-1 and the OM-DEM-1 Mark II. Porked over here with the OM-1, tremendous results with the 40 to 150 zoom with HDR. I find the low light capabilities on the OM-1 to be a bit improved over the old OM-DEM-1. I'm really happy with the OM-1. I think it's got much better low light performance. This is in my backyard, the squirrel with the OM-1 and the long lens. This is out in the country. Some of the Mennonite kids going to school. This is the OM-1 with the 40 to 150 zoom. Some shots up country, beautiful colors. Very low light level and the camera's working perfectly. This is a time lapse with the OM-1 and you can see the stars. There's the pole star right in the middle, North Star, and the stars circling around it. Here's a bit of the Milky Way. Wow, I learned how to do deep sky photography. Some fellas helped me out. I got a tracker and they showed me where to find M1 Messier and the Orion Nebula. Here I am with the OM-1 and the 40 to 150 zoom looking at some rail tracks. This is Rattlesnake Point. I stopped here to take a few photographs. Beautiful results here with rock face. This is one of my signature pictures I shot in 1988 on 4x5 film. I keep returning all the time and I'm very happy with the results I've been getting. Again the OM-1 with the 12 to 40 millimeter lens. Grab shot of Mary with her new pink Tilly hat. Well, there you see the kingfisher and the egret on the same perch almost. Wow. I wish they weren't so far away. But I'll capture what I can capture. They're really, really far away. The kingfisher sees something. Did he get it? I think he did. I think he had a little spot of breakfast there. I hope he's still hungry. Meanwhile, the egret is still hoping for bigger things. I've had so much fun with the OM-1 with the long lens and the two times adapter. This is with the 300 millimeter F4 and the 2X converter shooting 4K video. Love to watch these fishermen at work. Such great fun. Look at there. Catches a fish just about every time. How are we doing here? Just a little wee one this time. Wow, it's really great using the OM-1 with the 300 millimeter. You get great shots bird detection focus, I really like it. This is with the EM-1 Mark II with Pro Capture. The seven millimeter lens on the OM-1, great shots on this train. Only saw this bird one time, I really tried to go back and get him. So often you just get the right light on a place and you only get it once and then it's gone. Peggy's Cove was great fun. Again, this time I didn't have my tripod with me so I was shooting low light. St. John's Harbor, beautiful shot. This is one of my favorite places in the world. I always love to take pictures here, it never disappoints. Pooch Cove, night shot. 
water bomber flying overhead. Look at this. I got this from a boat out in the middle of Conception Bay. Here we are with the OM-1 and the 7 to 14 millimeter. Long lens photographing the whales. You hear these whales far before you see them. The tail is just going down here. I was so fortunate. Some turns, really nice to catch these birds. Cape St. Mary's. Now the wind here was blowing my camera so much I was having to hold my tripod down. So there's a little bit of shaking going on. But still, don't forget you're looking at a 300 millimeter lens with the two times adapter on there. That's like a 1200 millimeter on a full frame camera. And the wind is just shaking things. I'm doing my absolute best. It's nice to see the neighbors fighting a little bit here to protect their young. The 4K video on the OM-1 is just great. Now here's a still shot, really nice focus on this bird. I think this bird is there just to entertain everybody. I had to take a couple steps back to keep him in focus. Bridal turns at Cape St. Mary's, you see the little line around their eye, that's where they get the name Bridal. And my favorite, the puffins. Here we are at Elliston. The puffins are flying in and they're just having fun talking to each other or whatever they're doing, I'm not sure. Sometimes they grab each other by the beak and you think they're gonna pull the head off the one bird, but seem to get along just fine, really. He's got a little bit of nesting material there. You can see the high wind. Now here I'm shooting video and at times like this I go to pro capture on the OM-1 and just wait and get a shot of the birds taking off. When they're coming in for a landing I just have to use bird detect and catch as I can. These guys really put on a show for us, they really did. I've been there several times and it's always such a treat. There's the colony in behind them. The birds are looking really impressive, I think. Now this was the planetary alignment. Unfortunately, it was so foggy that you can't see any of the planets. I got up at four in the morning and I got that video. Here I'm doing a time lapse on the OM-1. Sun's coming up in the morning. Beautiful light on the pinnacle there. This is shot with the 300 millimeter F4 and uh, I couldn't get any closer to these flowers. I would have loved to be close up and use the tripod and everything, but it just wasn't possible. I did get some shots like this. These are so rare. Mary said she hasn't seen them since she was a little girl in Newfoundland. Now, this was a treat. I've been looking for these guys for, well, for my whole life, trying to get close to one of these. Saw them down there, and I thought either take a chance, get the shots, or go home with a sad story. Now, don't forget, these are wild animals. I mean, it's probably crazy what I did, but I sort of snuck up on them here a little bit. Getting pretty close. I'm sticking in the mud. The mud's going up to my ankles, and I've got sandals on. I had to throw those. There he goes, he saw me. But I got the shots. Look at the water bouncing off these animals. And subject detect worked just perfectly. Well, mostly perfectly. Mary was shooting some video from the car on the uh, Mark II. And here they are again. Boy, oh boy. So pleased. I was so happy walking back. You can see my pants are wet up to the ankles. This was a treat here. I've been to this park many times. I'm photographing the waves coming in and I got to use the uh, live ND mode on the camera. See the live ND makes the waves a little bit misty in the front. 
Well, here I am at Gross Morn Park. Here's our van parked up at the side of the ocean for a sunset. Lansom Meadows Viking Settlement. It's great to be there. And this, I was trying to get a painterly effect of the lighthouse through the fog. I think I got it. Wow, this is Labrador tea with little drops of mist on the flowers. They're tiny little flowers. The raging sea. We didn't get that crazy waves, but um, I'll be going back again. West coast of Newfoundland. I've been photographing that lighthouse since the 70s. Now here we are in Prince Edward Island. There's my van parked up by one of the lighthouses. Here I am shooting down the beach here. Look at that on Prince Edward Island. Long lens in this sort of formation. There's the Confederation Bridge off in the distance with the wide lens on the OM-1. Well, here's my five minutes of fame. I wound up meeting somebody that wanted to photograph me on a 4x5 camera in the woods. I'm really looking forward to see those pictures. This is what I was shooting. I was shooting this video when the girl came over and asked if I would pose for some pictures. There you can see the OM-1 with the 40 to 150. There's Bella helping me get a sharp focus. These are some baby peregrine falcons. I was delighted to meet up with these. A purple finch in New Brunswick. Church in New Brunswick with some lupins in front of it. One of our prehistoric dragon turtles here. I love those guys. Baltimore Oriole. This is before I had the new OM-1. This is with my Mark II and it works out just fine really. I got some great shots of the birds here. Look at there. There's a mink looking at me. I think he wants to eat me, I'm pretty sure. Some owls with the OMD EM1 Mark II, shooting with the 300 millimeter and the 2X adapter. There they are. So tiny to get to and they're so far away, but they're just wonderful to see. I'm just delighted to get shots of them at all. Well, I can't wait to go back with the OM1, but the, this camera worked just fine for me there. It was all I had, it was all I knew at the time. Again with the uh, Mark II. Look at this. I was using Pro Capture and the owl flew right into the proper location for me. That's with the Mark II, and I'm really happy with the results I got. It's hard to find these snowy owls. <laughs> Looks pretty satisfied there. Mary put an oil painting filter on that one. I was delighted, because you don't want to scare these birds, but if somebody else scares them, well, that's not on me. I was walking down the road, I saw this owl, and I asked for permission to go in. I got it, and then a hunter scared the bird, and I got the shots. Here's our favorite snowy owl with the moon behind it. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Come on back again real soon.